Well, 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 well. Here we are again, dreamers. Welcome back to Let's Play Yumi Tsuki, episode 194. 194. We sure are getting through them, aren't we? Uh, at a very, very slow pace. Almost glacial at this point, but we do have a new version of the game. Uh, in fact, <clears throat> since the last time we played Tsuki, there have been a great many, well, not versions of the game. I think there's only been like what, four or five proper letter revisions, but of course, the way Tuki development works these days is um, there's you know hundreds of patches between those, and of course, whereas in some games a patch might just be hey we fixed something, um, quite a lot of the Tuki patches, as we've been talking about, uh, are like no no add some new worlds to, remove some connections, just change stuff, uh, which has made trying to get caught up on all the things that have happened in the meantime kind of challenging, so I guess that's on me. Hey look at this. I don't know when this came in, it was a keyboard, you can play it. Uh, I think we can... There we go. It's not a very nice sounding uh, piano. I guess that's what that little thing on the shelf is? I don't know. It's not the most musical thing I've ever heard. So, what are we going to do today? Well, well, I have an adventure in mind. Um, in fact, I've got a few adventures overall, but this is the one I want to try and do. Because um, it's a bit of a different setting from where we were last time. Now, admittedly, that was a while ago at this point, but uh, this one I think should be quite good fun. So this looks nice, doesn't it? I mean, we don't often go through the, uh, the garden world these days. So it's nice to come back here. I've mean, got this little area. Got these bunnies. They make sounds. I've got these moats. They make kind of spooky sounds, but that's okay. It's okay to make spooky sounds. Not really much else happening in here, though, is there? Some bridges. It's nice. Reasonably cozy. This little uh, black tendril here looks a bit ominous, though. So, what that has done. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> so what that's done pretty much has made everything in here uh, trouble. The bunnies, the little moats, the, the will-o'-the-wisps, or whatever these guys are supposed to be. Uh, they're all out to get us. Uh, but what we do want to get is we want to get this. This makes everything even more dangerous. But because we're so good at video games. So good. Uh, observers I know don't actually figure out where I uh, find it where we're meant to go um, we can just avoid all this hopefully wow cutting that close uh, and we gotta go we could go look for a landmark of some kind so I don't know where the fuck I'm actually supposed to be going that'll work right good down <clears throat> good did it Barely even broke a swamp. A bit dark in here, let's look at this. We can also, of course, use the old lantern. Old favourite, fan favourite lantern. So these guys are kind of curious. Um, I would say they're enemies, but they don't really chase you like enemies normally do. They just kind of amble around, but they don't seem to like the light, so it's a good idea to do this. Um, if they touch you, you get teleported. I mean, I want to get teleported. <clears throat> At least not right away. Uh, boxes, you say? That's where I left my boxes. Huh, <laughs> no. No. Not today. Not today. But it's good to know it's there, right? In case you ever did want to go there. I just thread the needle there, easy. Easy. Quivering cone. Yeah, we don't want to go there either, actually. Nope, we do not. Get out of my way. Right, now if we just. Just gently. Just gently, Earl, just. Squeeze your way through here. This looks cozy, doesn't it? 
Look at all this stuff. I've got a guy sleeping. Little thingy. Sleeping octopus, whatever that is. It's not very pleasant. Hmm. Everything comes to attention. Because that uh, Uro's doing Uro things. It's almost blood splatter that on the wall though, isn't it? Um, for some reason this chair here barks. It's very quiet. You may not even be able to hear it, but it's interesting, isn't it? Barking chair. Uh, but what we can do is with a little bit of hope that this doesn't take forever is if we do that enough. <laughs> that was quick. Chair down. Hero beat up everybody. As usual, making friends. The Uro way. Yeah. It's a little bit grim all of a sudden. Oh well, right. Uh, also, this makes a noise now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this in the sequence which has yielded the best results. There's a few different routes around all of this that you can take, but we're going to do it the way that seems to work for me. There's a little four-leaf clover thing here blocking our way. Our greatest obstacle yet? Well, you can't just float over it. It's a bit weird, you have to use it. You can't actually just travel over it. We'll go over here. These guys look a little bit like the uh, the snowman guy that was in the, in the house that we just ransacked. I mean, we don't know that we did it, but yeah. I know Uro. Me and Uro, we go way back. We go way back. I know what she gets up to. Hmm. Well, looks pleasant there. A bit kind of pink, surely. We're not gonna, because you see that obstacle, that great obstacle that we overcome, the the, the clover that was on the floor. There are other ways to solve your problems, you know. You got to think more blunt. More Uro. You gotta think more Uro. See? Oops. Well, that worked out better, didn't it? No, Uro's dead. Not really. Right. And this takes us into this hellscape. And I, I do mean hellscape. It's it is rather jarring for Tuki. It's very ominous. I mean, look at these guys are like queuing up to have a bath or something to go into the soup. It's okay if it gives them fulfillment. Who am I to judge? So I've had a look around in here. There's some things. It's a good. Let's look in here, actually. Why not? Nah, I don't want to go in there. Smelly. Uh, there's some little curiosities. I think over here. Yeah, there's this thing. Uh, and if we put on our glasses, you can see a good friend of ours just chilling. Bless him. I hope you're having a nice time up there. It's probably safer up there than being in the immediate vicinity of our Uro, because you know she she doesn't really take kindly to uh, uh, well anything really. Uh, let's go in this house. What's up? It's like a, a I don't know a bear fishing for firing men. 
This has got a really cool bit of music. I'm gonna hang on. You gotta hear this music, Dreamers. Slaps. Good. Uh but but what here? Well avail ourselves of the doorway. Music doesn't look right. That's a shot. Drink along at home. That is a shot. Finally, some instructions on how to play this damn game. Uh, now I just need to know how to understand them. Interesting. Okay. It's the same room as we were in, but somehow more peaceful. The bear is asleep. Oh, he's left his fishing rod unattended, so... Maybe we should just have a cheeky fish. What's biting? I want a fireman. I don't know. All right then. Sorry. That was less a fireman and more just an angry man. Well done, Uro. Making friends left, right, and center. That means this guy's here. And if we use him, we get one of these, which is powerful. The mythical 100% uh, Yumi Tuki run that we've been working on for what feels like forever. Yeah, right. So yeah, I, I kind of like this area. I mean, it's it's pink surely, but it's got it's got enough of its character where it feels. It's like its own thing. It's, it's the right kind of... Not derivative. Yeah, the right kind of derivative. Yeah, it's the right kind of derivative. Doesn't make me go, ah, another one of these areas. I think it's aided by pleasant music. And I like the idea that... I guess it's like a switchable aesthetic. Hmm. It's nice. Altogether, it's nice. Good work, developers. Now I think we want to go over here, yep. And there is a ladder. And this takes us into a spooky cavern. Spooky cavern. It's not that spooky actually, it's just kind of dark. And it's got twingly music. I remember you. You were harassing me earlier on, or at least making me uh, a bit nervous of my surroundings. So all of this isn't particularly new. I think it's been in the game for a while, maybe even about as long as a year. Um, which just goes to show you the, the amount of stuff we've got to catch up on, Dreamers. Uh, there is a lot of it. There is a lot of it. Here's a bit of music we've not heard in a while. Hmm. Well, what's going on down in these dank depths, huh? Glad you asked. Let's have a look around. See what we can't find. Uh, that ladder would be a good place to start. Let's look at that. Mercifully, this route is reasonably straightforward. You don't have to worry about me getting super lost. So, you might remember we kind of flashed into that area earlier and I immediately left it. Um, yeah, it, it all kind of connects in a, a cosmic sort of way. But we're not interested in that. Continuity, the, the breadth of the world, nah, don't care. Don't care, hit me up when you got something more interesting happening in your life, Uro. Just like, go outside would be a good start. It is a monster. No, no. Let us try our toolkit. See if this monster has anything to add to the to the universe. I don't think they do. I've, I, when was the last time you ever saw the bug effect do anything? I remember in like Yumi Nikki where. 
the effects kind of had well-defined things. Remember that? Yeah. All right. You don't want to play with me. That's fine. That's fine. Go find something else to do. I don't need to. I don't need friends. Well, not the way Uruksuki makes friends anyway. Uh, is there anything else in here worth seeing? I don't think so. This music sounds nice, slowed down. Uh, it's, uh, it's spooky. Let's go over here. I'm not short of ladders today. So, <clears throat> you'll see in a second, remember that mural uh, above the, the bear? I think that's what this is. I think. And this takes us to this world. Now we sit down. Yeah. Rest your wee laurel zero. You've earned it. Hard days killing. Moving chairs. So I guess the aesthetic of this area is meant to be a bit like kind of liminal space sort of thing. It puts me in mind of, um, what's his name, my house, in an odd sort of way. You know, that one bit where we went into the the swimming pool. The colour scheme's not right for it, but it does kind of look like that. It's pretty, it's got nice music. And uh, nice pictures. I always rate the worlds based on their pictures. Um, there's quite a few things to see here. Um, I have vaguely got a plan for it. I do mean vaguely. I need to hope that we actually can circumnavigate this place with some degree of competence. But I've had loads of practice, right? I'm not rusty at this at all. I'm sure it'll go better than whatever happened there. I mean, it must do. It must do. We are the one with the weapon, after all. See that subtle transition there? It's nice, actually, because it, it lets you know that something's changed, as opposed to how Tuki normally handles these things, where it's like, oh, you figure it out, dickhead. It's nice. It's just, it's just cosy here. It's cosy. So this is an interesting little room. Um, it seems kind of unsettling for some reason. We can't move anywhere. So my thinking of this is that uh, it kind of looks glitchy, like some kind of you know sort of Pokemon red or blue esque you know memory corruption, but not super intense. It's very mysterious, but we can't do anything, so... I guess that would fit in with the, the aesthetic as well, right? Or would it? I don't know. I don't keep up on these fans. I really keep up on anything, actually. Doing quite well, if I even know what day it is. Doors? Nope. this black void with a thing. Kind of a little bit like a Geometry World sort of palette. Probably intentional. Probably. Like, just calm down, alright? I know a lot of you were on fire, but... Very excitable. Very, very excitable. Kinda glad he's in there. 
kind of scary. Uh, but proceeding on from that, just think about think about happy places and happy thoughts, right? I'm gonna find somewhere happy, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, this very loud place. When was the last time we were here? Not for a fucking while, that's for sure. We ain't staying here. It's loud. It's loud and I want out. It's loud and I want to go home. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, Uro. Focus, okay? Focus. Just soak up, soak up the nice vibes in here. Drink them up. Drink them. Let's see if we can get lost. Ah, good. A refreshment. That'll calm our nerves a little bit. Oh yeah, what was that? Like fucking cherry pie. Damn fine if you ask me. Uh right, okay, I think that's that. So if we go back over here, how's my navigation skills? Uh we wanna go Nope. What's in this one? Oh yeah, I know where this goes goes here. For some reason it goes over to this little maze part. You can push this cone out of the way. Don't know what that's all about. Did that box move? Spooky. Spooky. This just leads back here. In fact, we can go up here. We don't even need to do the full fucking around the houses again, right? Oh, look at that. It's like I know where I'm going. Let's take this one. In your prison. We've got this. This little sort of maze area. Harkens back to how we got into this mess in the first place. It's nice. It's nice, wouldn't you say? Not that there's much going on in here. Under construction. Broken chairs. And then, of course, a dead end. Well, bollocks to that, huh? That's what we say to dead ends. Bollocks to you, dead ends. We're like a fantastic hair product. Bollocks to you, dead ends. Bollocks to you, dry scalp. Bollocks to you, Uro. Bollocks to you, Uro. Dry, itchy scalp. Chainsaw imprints. We'll give you the new head and Uro. Head and Uro. For men and women. Yeah. I'm sorry. I hope things pick up for you in there, my friend. You'll probably go out. Or get put out, at least. On this little bloody doorway. Hmm. And where this leads, of course, is here. Why exactly this is here and it doesn't just connect? I don't know. It would seem to make this area a bit frustrating if you don't know where you're going. Of course, I have the advantage of I always know where I'm going. Always, always. Always and ever. I like this. There's something kind of unnerving about it. Pathways over the abyss. Honeycomb. It's all very, very spooky. What do we have here? Oh, it's like a, it's like a statue of I don't know somebody like doing the OK thing with their hands, or their hand. That's the best interpretation. You can think about what else it might be yourself. I don't need to tell you. Hello, cat. What you got to say? Yeah, <clears throat> that's not an area that I think we've been. Interesting. Can you die? No. No would be the short answer there. It's like an odd star when that happens. It's the game thinking like, oh, hang on a minute. Rain Uru back, roll back a few steps, don't want her actually killing things. 
What if? Right, here's, here's the idea. What if? Stop raining. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But it's so nice here. It's so nice and calming. Uh, I think we've about surfaced everything we want to. Uh, have we? Yeah, I think we have. Uh, well, what about this little doorway? You know what they say about little doorways? Oh, well, that's perfect. They're all perfect. Good thinking. Oh, yeah, well, this looks safe. Well, when in the spooky liminal baths, um, nothing else to do but to perform the flying madotsuki and get big. Great, great. Well, what is this chaos? Kind of an onslaught on the eyes, this. It's dark. And uh, it's got a fuck all in it. Well, that's good. I guess we chose poorly. Not the first time. There's a fucking dishwasher tablet over there. Look how big this world is. Um, I can tell you right now, Dreamers, there's, there's, there's nothing really here. Just, just this for a while. Why can't we move over that way? I can see your secrets game. Get it. Get it. Uh, bug. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I ran around in here for ages. I didn't find anything interesting. So, uh, dishwasher tablet it is. And rather unceremoniously, we are waking up. Adventure complete. Nipples are red and swollen, which I guess wraps that up rather neatly, doesn't it? There we go. That worked okay. Wallpapers? Nah. Nah. Don't need them. Now let's have a look at the wallpapers anyway. Why not? What you got for us here? What's this? Yellow rain. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 Very good. Well, dreamers, today's dream. 184. Um, yeah, we've done it. We've done it again. We've gone and done it again. Uh, episode 194. Now, I will tell you this, since you pour all the way through it, we actually have something in mind for the next episode. I say we. Uh, I primarily mean uh, me. Does that mean it's going to come out sometime before we see the end of 2023? Don't know. No promises. But uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.